Hello everyone and a very good morning my dear children and good morning dear parents. My name is Pooja and today I am here to tell you a wonderful story. But before we begin with the story, I was thinking, do you want to sing and dance with me? If yes, quickly get up your places and then I'm going to play a song for you. Let's do it together. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Sun is shining, birds are chirping, I am happy too. Good day, good day, a good day to you. He is smiling, she is smiling, see you at the school. Hey, good morning, good morning. Good job everyone. I hope you all love listening to the song and I hope you all were dancing with me. Yes. Okay. So now who's excited to listen to a story? For that you all have to put on your big listening ears and let's see what is the story about. Can you all look at the screen and can you tell me? What do you see? It's a jungle. That's right. And the story name is The Jungle School. The authors of the story are Madhav Chewan, Meera Tendolkar. Now, do you know who are authors? What do they do? Authors are someone who write a book. Like we all write letters and numbers in our books. The authors write a story. And we have our illustrator that is Keetan Roth. Now who is an illustrator? An illustrator is someone who draws pictures in the book. Like we all love drawing, isn't it? And the book is being published by Pratham Books. So now let's see how does it look like to have a school in the jungle. There was a big dark jungle. There were lot of trees and a narrow, narrow path. Many animals and birds lived there. Now I'm sure you must be having some favorite animals and birds that you like. If yes, can you please write it in the chat box? You can take your mama's and papa's help to text me on the chat box. Okay, so look at the screen and see how many animals we have. One day, all the animals came together. Did you hear? Asked Tota, 
the parrot. Yes, oh lion, you love a lion. That's great. You know what? I also love a lion and a zebra. But here looks like we have a lot of other animals. A peacock. Wow. So you all love such different animals. But we do have one more friend who loves a cat. A tiger. But do you know there's a tiger in the story? An elephant. Can you spot an elephant on the screen? Yes. Now one day all these animals came together. And they said, did you hear Astota, the parrot? Can you spot the parrot on the top? Yes. Hirni said, yes, the deer. What? Asked Darpok the rabbit. We have a school in the jungle, answered Zula the monkey. Mota the elephant wondered. Hmm. Lambo the giraffe said, oh good. Dima, the snail squealed, hurry, let's go. Looks like they want to see how a school feels like to sit, play with the teacher, with their friends and learn. So let's see what they did. Tota, the parrot, flew ahead. Zula, the monkey, jumped from tree to tree. Puraka, the python slithered very fast. Looks like everybody wants to go to the school very, very quickly. But do you love going to school? Yes. If yes, can you tell me what is the best part about going to school? Do you like to meet your teacher? Do you like to play with your friends or do activities? You can let me know in the chat box again. Okay, so soon all the other friends also joined them. Lambo looked over the tree and said, No one is here, he said. Zula repeated, No one is here. Tota proposed, Look carefully. Now while those all animals are looking carefully, can you see that some of your friends love to meet their friends? Some of you like to dance at school, which is lovely. And what else? Do activities. I also love to do activities in school. But artwork, yes, we all love painting and drawing, isn't it? Now I want you all to help me put on your looking eyes and look carefully and help the animals to see. What is there? Below, the little bear declared, I found a room. Keep looking, you will also find a room. Can you see the room on the screen? Yes. Now let's see what did the animals find in the room. I found a swing, announced Dhima. What are these blocks for? Darpo wanted to know. Now, what do you do with blocks? Do you like to build a tower? Or do you like to look at the colors? You love your teacher, which is so good. I love my teacher as well. And what do you do with blocks? What kind of activities can we do with the blocks at school? Do you have blocks that you like to play with? Okay, some of you like to build blocks. You like to build a train. Wonderful. Hmm, now what is this? Zula asked. You like to make a tower, which is wonderful. I love to build towers as well. And we can make a huge, huge tower. Yes. 
Now, I want all of you to look at the screen and look at what is Zula having in her mouth. You like to build a snake with blocks, yes? So look at the snake on the screen and tell me what is inside the snake's mouth? Can you tell me what is inside the snake's mouth? Hmm, let me try to figure out as well. Can you help me and tell what is inside the snake's mouth? Is it a paper? No. What could it be? What is inside the snake's mouth? Hmm, let me wait for you all to tell me. Yes, that's correct. It's a brush, it's a pencil. I love how you all are thinking. Okay, some of you told me it's a brush, it's a pencil. Anyone else who can tell me what could it be? Look very, very carefully. I'm putting on my looking eyes. Can you also put on your looking eyes and tell me what it is? It's a pencil. Very, very good. That is correct. Yes, it is a pencil. So Puroko explained. He said, I believe this is a pencil. Now, it's a chili. I love how you're thinking. Yes, it does look like a chili. Hmm. Looks like you all are putting on your thinking hats as well. And you're trying to be creative. Very, very good. Now let's see what happens ahead in the story. Oh wow, look what did Mota and Lambo find? They found a classroom. A classroom with benches and chairs and they all called the rest. They said, look, what is this? Everybody came with their school bags. Now, they have come to the school. They have their bags. They met their friends. Now, who are they waiting for? Who teaches us in the classroom? Can you tell me who teaches you in the classroom? Who do we wait for in our classroom? We have our friends to play with. So, we are already in the classroom talking to our friends. We have our bags ready. We have a table and chair to sit on. But, hmm, what are we looking for? Who are we waiting for? Who teaches you in your classroom? Can you tell me? Man teaches you. Okay. A teacher teaches you. Very, very good. A teacher. Very good. A teacher teaches us. That's exactly correct. So they all begin to shout, teacher, teacher, where are you? Where is our teacher? But no one knew. Maybe you can help me with it. Let's see where is the teacher. Hmm, look carefully, you might find the teacher. Okay, looks like... Everybody is looking for the teacher and they hear something. Can you put on your listening ears? Then they heard a roar. Keep listening. They heard a loud roar. Keep listening. And they heard a louder roar. Puroko was worried. Dima was scared. Tota hid behind the boat. Lambo and Sula were also very puzzled. Who is this, huh? Said Sula the monkey. But no one knew who it was. Who could it be? Who rose could it be? Let's see. Who is this, huh? Said Sula the monkey. Nobody still spoke. Can you tell me who is this? Who could this be? Does it look like a giraffe? Or does it look like an elephant? 
Does it look like a tiger? Can you tell me how does it look like? I'm waiting for all of you to help me out and tell me who does this look like? Which animal could this be? It's a tiger, a lion. Okay, keep thinking, keep thinking. It's a teacher. Very, very good. It's a tiger. Okay, a lion. Okay, keep thinking. I can see some stripes on the body. A baby lion. Okay, I love that you all are putting on your thinking hats and thinking so much. It has stripes on its body. So who could it be? Tiger. Very, very good. It's a tiger. So they all looked at the teacher. They looked up and down carefully. Then they looked at each other. And you know what they did? While the teacher turned to write on the blackboard, everybody ran away. You know why? Because it is a wild animal. And all the animals got scared of the wild animal. But your teacher loves and cares about you, isn't it? You do so many activities in class and then you learn from her. You also meet so many new friends in your classroom, isn't it? Now, while you tell me which is your favorite activity that you do in your classroom, can you quickly tell me? It's a cup. Very, very good. Can you tell me what is your favorite activity to do in classroom? Do you like to draw, paint? Do you like to go out and play? Or do you like to learn some letters and numbers? While you tell me which is your favorite activity, let me also tell what is my favorite activity. I love to draw and paint and I also love to dance. So when I go to school, I enjoy dancing the most and I enjoy my painting class. You like to study, which is wonderful. I think everybody, all activities, okay. So it looks like you all like to study, you all like to paint, you like to use a Play-Doh. Very, very nice. You like to paint. You like drawing, which is wonderful. Play with car. I love playing as well. And you know, also at Clay, we love to provide some fun space for you to play and do some painting drawing. Yes, we also do coloring and so many other things while we also learn. Now that brings us to the end of our storytelling session for today. And can you tell me before we leave that in your classroom, you might be having your teacher, right? Can you please tell me who is your favorite teacher also? Any favorite teacher that you have? You like playing with slider. Very good. You love to read. And which ma'am teaches you all this? Music. So tell me who's your favorite teacher? Who teaches you music or dance or study? Who teaches you drawing, painting, coloring? I would love to know your favorite teacher. And I hope you also enjoyed the session for today. If yes, do let me know. Betsy, ma'am. How sweet. Banu, ma'am. Aisha, ma'am. Pranita, ma'am. Preeti, ma'am. 
Ritu ma'am, okay. It's so good to see that you all have such loving teachers. Sangeeta ma'am. And I'm sure your teachers also love you a lot. Parbinder ma'am, okay. Harleen ma'am, it's so nice to see that all your teachers, you love all your teachers so much who do so many activities with you. Okay. Also, children, I hope you loved enjoying listening to the story. But this is something that we will do every month. So again, we will come back next month with another clay tale where we will tell you new stories. But before that, I would love to know if you've enjoyed the story for today. If yes, please do let me know. And my name is Pooja. So Pooja, I would love to know if you've loved the story and enjoyed listening to the story today. Because I enjoyed narrating the story to all of you. I had so much of fun. Thank you so much. It's good to know that all of you enjoyed the story and hoping to come back again with one more story soon. Next month, yes. Thank you so much, everyone. With that, we come to the end of our storytelling session for today. Bye. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you so much.